I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media. Today's feature company is Van Gold Mining Corporation, a mineral exploration company active in central Mexico. Although the Mexican government has curtailed non-essential economic activities in response to the COVID-19 pandemic, the company is allowed to continue work on its 2020 campaign to advance its El Pinguico project, a significant pass producer of high-grade gold and silver, located seven kilometers south of the city of Guanajuato, Mexico. Prior to the Mexican Revolution in 1913, El Pinguico was a high-grade 400 ton per day operation, with the area currently hosting several active mining locations. Van Gold is in discussions with local contractors to deliver a substantial bulk sample from its surface mineralized stockpile, which has remained in place since 1913 for processing at a local mill within the area. Processing the bulk sample will provide important information regarding the metallurgy and precious metal recoveries to assess the economic viability of direct shipping both surface and underground material from the El Pinguico project on an ongoing basis. In the early 1900s, El Pinguico was mined on 10 levels and from four major shafts. The most central of these shafts, and the one located closest to the company's underground stockpile, is called the El Pinguico shaft. Crews will begin clearing the bottom of the El Pinguico shaft down to the seventh added level, also known as the Sangria level, as soon as Mexico lifts COVID-19 work restrictions. Initially, the company will conduct a sampling program of material at the bottom of its historic underground stockpile in order to gain confidence that the grade encountered by Van Gold's 2017 trench sampling program at the top of the stockpile, which averaged 3.56 grams per ton gold equivalent, extends to the bottom of the stockpile. The company also plans to re-enter and sample previously mined stopes, especially the Colmillo stope located adjacent to and above the Sangria added level and thought to be an area of potential high-grade vein material as evidenced by assays from historical channel sampling. Company contractors will re-enter the Sangria Adit itself and assess the condition of the Adit and the competency of the rock formations that the Adit cuts through. This will be a first step in understanding what refurbishing will need to be done should the company decide to use the Sangria Adit to bring mineralized material from the underground stockpile to the surface in a safe and cost-effective manner. As Van Gold continues to compile all relevant historical and contemporary geological data, drill targets established in the company's 2017 NI43101 report are being augmented with drill targets that could be accessed using underground drilling equipment. The company plans to target extensions of historically mined vein material from existing underground workings in order to lessen the drilling distance needed to intercept those targets and thereby reduce drilling costs. Dan Oliver, director, stated, Despite ongoing coronavirus considerations, this is an exciting time for the company. We are working diligently at re-establishing the El Pinguico mine to its past glory. Following a lengthy halt as the company underwent a change in management, while refocusing operations on the Mexican silver belt, the shares are now trading at five cents. For more information, please visit the company's website at vangoldmining.com. Contact James Anderson, CEO at 778-989-5346 or email james at vangoldmining.com. I'm Fiona Forbes for Investment Pitch Media.